Prime Minister Theresa May said Tuesday she would ask the EU to delay Brexit again to avoid Britain crashing out of the bloc next week, signalling she could accept a closer relationship with Europe to break months of political deadlock. After more than seven hours of talks with her ministers, May said she would request a delay that was as short as possible and which ends when we pass a deal through the British Parliament. Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar L, said Ireland does not want to become a backdoor into the EU single market for Britain in the event of a no-deal Brexit, after he met Emmanuel Macron R, in Paris Ludovic Marin AFP in a move which enraged the Brexit-supporting wing of her Conservative Party. She also offered to work with the leader of the main opposition Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, who favours closer ties with the European Union. This is a decisive moment in the story of these islands. And it requires national unity to deliver the national interest, May said in a televised address. Corbyn responded saying he was very happy to meet. In reality, the deadline is even closer as the EU has called an emergency leaders summit for April 10. EU President Donald Tusk responded cautiously to May's statement, saying, even if, after today, we don't know what the end result will be, let us be patient, break the logjam. Britain voted by 52 to 48 percent to leave the EU in the 2016 referendum. However, the exit process has only exacerbated divisions among the public and politicians, including May's cabinet. Following Monday's votes, Guy Verhofstadt, the European Parliament's Brexit coordinator, said, a hard Brexit becomes nearly inevitable. Isabel Infante's AFP her statement follows weeks of turmoil. MPs have rejected May's divorce deal three times, but after seizing control of the process were unable to come up with their own plan. May said she was taking action to break the logjam, she noted calls in her own party for Britain simply to end its 46-year-old membership of the bloc without any agreement with the EU, but she said that leaving with a deal is the best solution. May said she believed her existing deal was still necessary for an orderly Brexit, but offered to talk to Labour about a new plan for future trade ties. Corbyn has called for a new customs union with the EU and close alignment to the bloc single market, two things that until now, May has strongly opposed, I recognize my responsibility. Corbyn said, stressing that, the most important issue was to make sure we don't crash out of the EU next week with no deal, Corbyn said any new proposals could be voted on by Parliament early next week. Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May offered to work with opposition Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn Jack Taylor, Poole, AFP if May and Corbyn could agree on a plan that MPs supported, the Prime Minister said she hoped to take it to the April 10 Brussels summit. If not, she promised to allow MPs to direct what she does, expressing hope that Britain could still leave with a deal before May 22, said it did not have to take part in European Parliament elections. The political chaos has already forced May to ask the EU to postpone the original Brexit date of March 29, but European leaders have warned they will not delay Brexit indefinitely. French President Emmanuel Macron said Tuesday that while he was open to a lengthy delay on certain conditions, it was neither a certainty nor automatic. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, warned that the other 27 EU nations were prepared for a no-deal situation, and it becomes day after day more likely. Future relationship The EU has repeatedly refused to renegotiate the Brexit divorce deal it agreed with May last November after almost two years of negotiations but has said it could revise the accompanying political declaration on future relations. What we need to focus on is our future relationship with the EU, May said of her talks with Corbyn. The conservative Brexit backers slammed May's move. Former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said it was very disappointing that Corbyn was being given a key role in the Brexit process. Jacob Rees-Mogg MP suggested the Labour leader could undermine the referendum. Getting the support of a known Marxist is not likely to instill confidence in Conservatives, he said. Burzar JM, DET per kilo lumen.